Alrighty, these are just some notes on the short story, The Carriage Driver's Tale. Olgoth. The prefix ol can be associated with light or divine connotations in some contexts, uh, which I'm using to indicate uh, his desire for repentance. The suffix goth, I just kind of took the word gath, like gathering, bringing together, because that's what he usually does. <clears throat> So <clears throat> he's kind of like all together or all. Anyway, uh, in Hebrew, the word El, uh, which sounds similar to Ol, it means God or divine, of course. And in some names, the prefix Ol might be interpreted as an allusion to divine qualities, depending on the context in which it's used. Uh, from Old Norse, I found that the prefix Al in some Old Norse names, is related to the concept of all, everything, or universal, although it modifies slightly. Anyway, this could hint at a more cosmic or divine nature. <clears throat> and finally, the uh, mythological invented names in fantasy literature. And whenever you're doing any creative naming, prefixes like all, uh, they could be intentionally designed. What I write here is uh, to carry the connotation of light, wisdom, or divinity. Uh, I was thinking of the, the Transformers, the All Spark, all. Anyway, uh, especially the names of characters who possess such traits. Yeah. So there's Olgoth. <coughs> Next, Edlin. This was a variation, or I guess a diminutive, of names like Edlin or Edgifu, uh, and that comes from Old English elements like Ed, and that means uh, wealth, fortune, or prosperity, and also Lin or Lin, and that signifies either a line or a, dis or a descendant, so Edlin uh, can be interpreted as a wealthy one or a prosperous descendant. And what I <coughs> found and wrote about this was there are modern variants. Uh, the name Edlin can also be perceived as a combination of Ed, a common prefix related to wealth or prosperity, and also the suffix Len, and it's associated with the feminine names in various cultures. Uh, feminine connotations, given the components of the name, Edlin can evoke a sense of nurturing strength, resourcefulness, and even an inherent connection to heritage or family legacy. It might suggest a character who is protective or caring, particularly toward her brother, Aiden. And <clears throat> my goal for literary and fantasy appeal with that, in fantasy narratives, names often carry meaning beyond their et etymology. Edlin, with its melodic sound and gentle yet powerful connotation, I'm hoping it can symbolize a character who balances tenderness with courage. Basically, she's like a guiding light for those she loves, especially in a dark and mystical world. And the last person <coughs> that I'll speak about is, you could say Lyra or Lyra, in Spanish and Italian, lira refers to a unit of currency, lira, historically used in various countries, including Italy and Spain. Uh, the term <clears throat> also evokes imagery of value and exchange. And for her, she has the power to give e eternal unlife in exchange for the life she <laughs> withdraws from others. So. <clears throat> I said that a little differently here. Uh, the power to give eternal unlife even as she withdraws life from others. There is, of course, also a musical association. Uh, Lyra can also refer to an ancient stringed instrument, 
Now, similar to the lyre, and it symbolizes harmony, artistry, and beauty. This musical connection can lend a lyrical quality to the character bearing the name. Uh, nature of the name, well, I think it has a nice gentle sound, so it could evoke like a feeling of lightness or grace or fluidity, and I think that aligns well with her role because she seems to be a friend of Aiden and Edlin, and this emphasizes her charm and the allure that mask her darker intentions. Uh, for a literary context, uh, I found that Lyra is a name that sometimes appears in modern literature and fantasy. It's frequently given to characters who possess some enchanting or whimsical quality, perhaps embodying magical or otherworldly characteristics, so I thought that was nice. It could fit. Uh, symbolism in the story, <coughs> Lyra's role is as uh, Aiden's sister's friend, but then she has a transformation into a darker being, so her name can evoke kind of a duality. I mean, initially, her name suggests innocence and enchantment, but as her character takes on a sinister turn, it can reflect the complexities of allure and danger, I guess. Anyway, <clears throat> my last comment here is for Lyra. Um, her actions in the story, they tie back to the contrasts represented by her name. She is delicate and she has a musical nature, but it's uh, juxtaposed against the predatory transformation that she undergoes. And this duality can create a rich layer to her character. Uh, it evokes sympathy for her lost innocence. And it represents uh, fear for the darkness that she embodies. I mentioned that she was like a musical instrument as well. The vampiric curse that she's under is playing her like an instrument, but also this new like metallic gem underworld monstrosity also uh, takes her over and uses her as an instrument of its will. So, yeah. Lost innocence.